Well, what's up to all my pimps and monocar players out there in YouTube land? This is Fast Jimmy 71 coming at you from the Chicken Grease Garage. What's cracking everybody out there in YouTube land? Uh, well, <clears throat> this is going to be a update on my pulley vehicle and trailer combo. Uh, been chugging along little by little here. Uh, for the most part, the trailer is done. Um, not done as in being painted and detailed, but done as in all the scratch building is completely done on it. Uh, pulling vehicle itself, which is the 57 Chevy Nomad, um, heavy modifications done to it. Uh, still not done, still got a long way to go on that. Uh, but it is mocked up so I can show you what it looks like. Um, so let me click off here and I'll come right back to you guys. So be back in a minute. Well, I'm back. Uh, and here we go. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I told you it went under some heavy modifications. I turned the Nomad into an El Camino. Yes, an El Camino. I wanted to try something different, so I went ahead and turned it into an El Camino. Um, there's heavy modifications there. I uh, still have to do a lot of touch-up work along the sides. Um, this is all styrene. Everything in here is styrene. It's got a real wooden floor. It's a real wooden floor. Uh, all that is styrene inside there. Um, I put it, it, sanded it yesterday, but I can see there's still a lot of little cracks here and there, so, uh, I need to go with some more putty and sand that all down, fill it up, sand it, uh, but for the most part, this is already done. Um, I added, uh, some, uh, some nice little pipes there, um, and what's... What's so screwy about that is that when I did the pipes, I had to drill holes into the bumper because when I had made the pipes for the mufflers, um, the bumper sits right where the, the, the tailpipes go. Uh, so I already had put them on, so I went ahead and I did a little custom work and I, I I drilled holes into the bumper and the bumper slides right through so the muffler tips are going right through the bumper uh, which looks pretty cool I like the way it looks um, added a hood scoop to the hood uh, and that's uh, that's what I got so far that's what I got so far uh, oh and here we go with the trailer trailer has you can see diamond plate yes 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 diamond plate let me disconnect the trailer from here put this to the side pull the trailer and that's diamond plate add a diamond plate right here and right here on the both fenders that's uh that's just in case to protect the fenders if you know when the guy is gonna get up on the fender to get up here to you know strap the car down or he needs to do something he needs to stand on on the fender he won't smash the fender in so uh gives the fender a little support and won't scratch up the paint um the floor has also been covered in diamond plate uh let me see if i have yeah the slides on the bottom also are diamond plated as you can see diamond plate so I added all diamond plate here here the back slides and right on top of the toolbox it's got a it's got a diamond plate just to protect the box on the top in case the guy needs to climb up here to hook up tires or disconnect tires or whatever Oh, and I also added a rack support with a bar running across. The bar slides off. When you put the tires on, you slide the bar through the tires, and that holds the tires into place. So when you're driving, tires ain't flopping all over the place. Um, 
And that's really about it, man. The trailer's been done. I changed the rims and I changed the tires because for the simple fact is I lost one of the tires that I had made. <laughs> so I I don't know what happened to the tire. I looked all over my office here the shop and I don't know where the hell it went. So I went ahead and I took me some some other set of tires and rims, which I I think they look pretty good. I gotta scuff them up a little bit. They look a little bit too clean. Um, so that's uh, that's what I got so far. But I hope you guys like the El Camino look on the '57 Chevy. Um, it's it's gonna look really nice once it's painted and and uh, you know all detailed and everything with the bare metal foil. It's gonna look really nice. You know it's. I've, they've never made a 57 Chevy El Camino. Never. It's always either been a Bel Air, um, a four-door, or a Nomad. Uh, you know, uh, and it's never been made into an El Camino. So, uh, I think if they would have came out with an El Camino, it would have looked really sharp. <laughs> I like the way it looks. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's the trailer waiting to get painted um so i have to wait for a break in the weather you know i'm not i'm not fortunate with having you know to paint inside my house because i can't do that inside my house um and i wouldn't want to do it inside my house anyways you know because of the simple fact because of the fumes and stuff even though and, you know, you got fumes going out into the out, outside, but still you got lingering dust and, and, and fumes that linger away, you know, and it still lingers around and, and I can't I can't have that, you know. So I prefer to not paint inside my house and I'll wait until it gets nice outside. So uh who knows, maybe next month or two months from now, it'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> depending on how the weather uh, uh, turns turns uh, here in Chicago, you know, because right now the weather is really cold. We have no snow, but it's really cold, so it's really hard to, you know, to paint and do what you want to do, you know, so. But that's uh, that's uh, the pulling vehicle. That's uh, That's what I got here. This is the setup for the for the Headhunter 57 Chevy, um, which is uh, sitting right there. I did a re I rearranged some stuff here. I had a bunch of boxes here yesterday, and I rearranged everything. Oh, uh, Big Blue won uh, Model Car of the Month yesterday at my uh, hobby uh, at my Model Car Club that I go to. Uh, I took it yesterday, and it won uh, Model Car of the Month with uh, some other guys. <clears throat> and, uh, just a view of some of my cars and stuff, you know, for those of you that, the new guys that haven't seen what I got, you know, there's uh, the Chicago Way up there and, you know, my other shop truck, uh, the, the, the view of Regal, uh, Lowrider and Big Dunk down there, you know, uh, my wife calls it peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter cup, uh, the Cadillac, and then, you know, you got my, my Pro Street Nova, and one bad mofo, just sitting right there, and, uh, you know, the, the Junker, and ice cream truck, and just on and on, you know, on and on, you know, just the typical stuff in my shop, you know, um, so, that's, uh, that's really about it. Uh, I'll be doing a video here shortly on um, scratch building and the materials that you use and uh, how to do it. So I'll be back. So peace, and you know it. Chicken grease. Laters.